joining us today at Miniature Wargaming Labs. Today, we'll be looking at Stanley from Funky Skulls Game. Now, this is for the Street Wars NYC line, but you can use it for any 1970s or, you know what, present day emotionally disturbed individual out there. So, he's got his little cane. Now, this guy will serve as not so much an NPC, but a most valuable, most violent person, MVP in the game terms. So the mold lines are good in this guy. Slight bits of flash around the fist. Cane, slightly bent, but that's to be expected from shipping from Scotland to New Mexico. Now I do have two head options here. And so that's why I bought two Stanleys. So that I could have them both. There. One looks crazier than the other. Alright, well let's get this guy together and see how he looks on the table. Alright, so I have Stanley put together. And unlike other Funky Skull models, he comes with an alternate head. And since he's already dressed like a weird dude, I went with the weirdest head he came with. But the head uh, slotted right into the body very well. Usual mold lines cleaned up pretty easily. There. The cane didn't actually get bent up in shipping, so that was fine. And let's see, Slaughter fit into the base very well, didn't need to patch that up. So let's see how this guy works on the table. So I have Stanley on my frontline gaming mat, so fits on the sidewalks, the crosswalks. It's made for 28 millimeters, and he fits in just fine. But I want to see how he fits in with my existing 28 millimeter range. So I've got my Pulp Fiction collectors here and enforcers, and I've got my A-Team, who's probably got to put Stanley down for threatening the neighborhood. So you can see the Studio Miniatures 28mm line fits in perfectly with the Funky Skull miniature. But I also want to try North Star to see if Stanley roams into the wrong part of the city that he doesn't belong in. So these Yakuza from North Star, their 28mm line, also fit in perfectly build and height wise. Now the last one I'd like to compare to is some of the civilian pieces from Spectre Miniatures. So the Banker, he's a little bit thinner than Stanley, but he still works. Now I want to see how Stanley works with my existing terrain line. And this is my little daily donut from our Marvel Crisis Protocol. So even though it's scaled for 40 millimeters, the train with the three inch height means it fits 28 millimeters. The door handle on the counter might be a little tall, but it still works with this scale miniature. Also the brown stones that I got off Thingiverse. This is our originally designed by Terrain for Print, but 3DP Design Labs remixed it. And you can see Stanley fits in there perfectly. This terrain really works well for any 28 millimeter up to 40 millimeter terrain. So Stanley's an interesting piece. Not my favorite miniature out of the line, because I just don't get it. But that's my point of view. He makes a good, most violent player in the game. I guess it's a little... There we go. I guess I bumped him. All right. Uh, if you're ordering from Scotland, might as well throw them in for a couple extra bucks there and get an extra uh, brute hire on. Well, thank you for joining us with Miniature Wargaming Lab. Don't drop this guy. This cane is bothering me. All right. Thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs, and we'll see you next time.